Hello, this is Maxi Tamaldan reporting on some of the hottest new technology, electrocaloric devices. What if you could fit a refrigerator in your pocket? What if you could cool without an air conditioner? That's what Tsiping Pei and his research team developed in the University of California, Los Angeles. Research into solid-state refrigeration is slated to open doors in different fields where conventional refrigeration systems have fallen short. Conventional refrigeration techniques employ vapor compression systems where a liquid refrigerant is cycled between a compressor, condenser, expansion valve, and evaporator to cool an enclosed space. It relies on the changes in state for the cooling. However, the main drawbacks of the system are the reliance on several parts, making it difficult to scale down. The vapor, which may harm gadgets, and the target cooling, which is driven solely by heat gradient. Kim Ming Zhang notes one main criticism for vapor compression systems. Electricity is used to drive a motor that will cool the air. Solid state refrigeration, however, eliminates the middle step by directly cooling with just the application of electrical energy. Solid state refrigeration uses cooling systems within the solid phase. Because of that, it can have less moving parts and therefore have better scalability to micro dimensions. It is also more targeted in cooling, whereas conventional air conditioners cool a general enclosed space. Solid state refrigerators can cool the chair you're sitting on, or the bed you're sleeping in, or even the very clothes you're wearing. What Sibing Pei and company fabricated was a novel device for electrocaloric refrigeration. The electrocaloric stack is made of polyvinylidene fluoroether, trifluoroethylene, terchlorofluoroethylene, or poly, VDF, TRFE, CFE. Ideal polymers for AC devices should be very polar, have large entropy changes when electric field is applied and removed, low dielectric constants, and large changes in temperature. Carbon nanotubes are integrated in the EC stack and are responsible for the actuator. Voltage is applied between the carbon nanotubes of the EC stack and the electrodes made of silver nanowire percolations on the polyimide film. The electric static force pulls the EC stack to either of the electrodes into contact. The S-shaped actuator is designed by connecting the opposite ends of the EC stack on either of the electrodes separated by PMMA spacers. The top and bottom laminate sheets are comprised of the carbon nanotube percolation sandwiched between the polyimide film and double-sided captain tape. Aluminum plates functioning as a heat source and sink sandwich the whole electrocaloric device. One of the driving principles of solid-state refrigeration is the electrocaloric effect. It's a principle that relies on entropy to produce temperature changes. An electric field is applied and aligns the randomly oriented dipoles in a polar material. The decrease in entropy increases the heat of the system, thereby creating a heat gradient. When the electric field is removed, the dipoles randomize and the entropy increases. The result is a drop in temperature which can then cool the vicinity by absorbing heat from its surroundings. There are six primary steps of the device. First, a voltage is applied between the electrocaloric material and the heat sink, causing the two surfaces to come in contact with one another. Then, an applied electric field aligns the dipoles in the polymer, thereby decreasing the entropy of the system, which also increases the heat. The heat gradient between the EC stack and the heat sink causes heat flow into the latter, resulting in a cool yet ordered structure within the polymer. A voltage is now applied between the EC stack and the heat source, causing the EC stack to shuttle from the heat source to the heat sink. Only then is the electric field removed and the polymer chains are free to randomly orient themselves. The increase in entropy also leads to a drop in temperature so that heat can be transferred into the EC stack to the heat source. The heated EC stack is actuated to the heat sink and the cooling process is recycled until the heat source is sufficiently cooled. They demonstrated the effectiveness of their device by heating up a lithium battery up until 52.5 degrees Celsius. When left to air cool, the temperature of the battery surface decreased by only 3 degrees Celsius in 50 seconds. However, with the EC device, the cooling rate clocked in at 8 degrees in 5 seconds. As electrocaloric devices are slated to be a billion dollar industry which aims to replace conventional refrigeration, a few patents on EC devices designs can be found. The patent presented was by Ezekiel Kruglik, who proposed an array of EC stacks working at different temperature ranges. While the patent has the necessary parts of an EC device, a heat source, a heat sink, EC stacks, it is rudimentary compared to the work of Tsiping Pei, who clearly outlined their actuator, something missing in the patent of Kruglik. The actuator is an integral part of the EC device because the cooling necessitates the shifting of heat from source to sink. 
without having these two being in contact simultaneously. While the overall design of this patent is sensible, the heart of the device would also be in the material of the EC stack itself, if it has a viable dielectric constant and a breakdown range, which Tsiping Pei and others have strived to discover and innovate. So, what can we expect from the future based on this technology? First of all, long gone will be the days of phones and tablets overheating and even exploding. Pay successfully demonstrated the viability of the device on the phone battery, and we can hope to see this integrated into our devices very soon. It also opens alternative for the storage of temperature-sensitive medicines in rural areas through smaller-scale refrigeration systems. Lastly, this could open the doors for self-cooling furniture, but also wearable devices. As the world ventures into wearable devices, flexible cooling systems like that created by the EC refrigerators can optimize their performance and comfort. So with that said, turns out some of the hottest new technology today is super cool.